What's up everybody? We're gonna throw a clang and bang workout at you. We're gonna go minimal equipment, total upper body workout. Uh, we're gonna just focus on one dumbbell. So that that's all you got. Uh, this is gonna be a total body session. We're gonna pack it into 10 minutes. Something you can get done quick, get a good upper body pump in, and knock out some good reps. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple different movements today that we haven't done before. One of them is gonna be the prayer curl, and that's gonna be just the way that you grab the dumbbell is gonna be a little bit different. So whether or not you have a loadable dumbbell or not, you're gonna turn it up on its end. You're gonna actually grab underneath the head of the dumbbell or the plate of the dumbbell so your palms are basically facing up. We're not gonna be able to get complete lockout doing this way on the, on the bottom of the rep, but from here you're gonna curl up to the top nice and slow and squeeze. We're gonna pause right at the top just for that half second for all these reps. Because we only have one dumbbell and we're not gonna be able to go super heavy potentially if you're limited on weight, I want that little half pause at the top of the rep. So we're just gonna stop there just for a second and be slow and controlled with all our reps. Next movement's gonna be the behind the head dumbbell tricep extension. So again, you're gonna flip it up, get your hands on the plate or the rubber part of the dumbbell all the way down to the bottom so you can kind of feel the dumbbell touch back on your, uh, where you would back rack a barbell. And then extend all the way at the top, hold for that half second, and then come back down slow and controlled. Next one's gonna be the bent over row. So again, you're gonna utilize a chair or a bench. Bend yourself over, still try to keep your chest nice and tall. We wanna keep our back flat when we do this. Don't wanna see you round out here. So lift that chest a little bit, grab onto the dumbbell, and then same thing, slow and controlled at the top, little squeeze every time you stop at the top. I'm gonna to try to focus on pulling the head of the dumbbell right up to the top of my pec as for the top of the rep. Hold one second at the top and then back down. Bench or chair dip. Feet on the floor or elevated, either way you can do it. If you don't have the equipment, you can just pop your feet on the floor, use a chair or a bench, and I'm gonna drop down to the bottom almost till my butt kinda touches the floor. And again, lock out at the top, squeeze at the top for that short pause. Slow and controlled, 10 reps. For the weighted sit-up, dumbbell's gonna be up in front of our face and we really wanna use our midline when we're sitting up and bring the weight up overhead. I don't wanna use the weight as momentum when I'm doing a weighted sit-up. So in order to do that, I'll place the weight right over my face. And then as I sit up, I'm gonna bring my head through the window of my arms. That's gonna allow you to use more of your midline, more of your core to actually move the weight in your body from A to B, rather than using the weight or your arms to throw yourself up to the top. All right, so we got all of those movements. We're doing 10 reps for everything. So we are gonna make this a 10 minute AMRAP today. Remember, clang and bang workouts, you wanna keep the intensity high, you wanna move quick from movement to movement, but let's make sure that we move good and controlled through all those reps, make them good, make them count, 10 minutes. Keep chill, I'm gone. They like what he on. I've been in my zone, dog, and you should know that I get mine. 
yeah, you get yours, yeah, who gon' ride, what you do it for, look, new design, new accord, do or die, I'ma win the war, rest assured, I get mine, yeah, you get yours, yeah, who gon' ride, what you do it for, look, new design, new accord, do or die, I'ma win the war, rest assured. Everybody got they level, but we are not one in the same. Prezi position my aim, I put that on Barack Hussein. Happy to show you for those who don't know, he out of his brain. I hop in your city and shut it down like you gotta be playing. I'm out here, uh, yeah, already. I've been here, I was born ready. It's been clear, I perform better when I'm in the lead and the horns let me. You was good, but the boy better. More clever, plus more effort, make more cheddar. Don't let up, I'm dumb, heavy, drop confetti. I'm up with the giants, I don't see no one above me. I brought the beast out the belly just to show shit could get ugly. Understand, I'm my business payment ship up at a hundred and me dropping fires the only way that you could be bubbling from the home of gorillas yeah we really the most quick to jump at your juggler if you getting too close my whole team on the come up off in the being the pros been on my grind to the sun up so i'm gonna leave with the goals all right quick recap awesome one if you just got one single piece of equipment um usually when people only have uh, limited equipment if you only got one dumbbell one kettlebell if you even only have a weight plate Right, you can still get something like this done. It's important to remember that. Um, if you're minimal on equipment, focus on what you can do, not all of the things that you can't. So I'm breathing heavy right now. I didn't go crazy on my reps. I kept them really slow and controlled and just kept moving for that full 10 minute AMRAP. My arms were smoked out, my back's tired. Definitely felt it in my midline. Um, for sure, the major demand felt more on my triceps than anything else. And I think that came from the sit-up, which is kind of a little bit of a rest for everything, uh, for your arms and your back and biceps, triceps, all that stuff. Um, but then the support overhead of the dumbbell for those 10 reps uh, gets you a little bit, especially after the, the dips. So that was the biggest surprise I had in that one. Hope you guys like it. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.